Okay, so before I dump it out, I want to put some flour on the table because it's no fun having the dough stick to your table. So do that. And see, there's still some dough inside. I'm going to clean that out. Just kind of have some extra in there and then rub it all out. Even though you spray it with the cooking spray, there's still always going to be some sticking there. So well, the thing is, it, it prevents a lot of it from sticking. So I kind of clean that out, and now I'm going to continue kneading here by hand. And so you can see it's still kind of really sticky. So I know I'm going to need to add more flour, and I want to work the flour in the extra flour as I need it so and with kneading you just kind of push it and pull it around and eventually all these little pieces and whatnot are going to go inside there so okay and I can tell it's kind of sticking to the the heel of my hand here so I'm going to add a little more flour and again how much flour to use you'll the more you make your bread the better an idea you'll have of how much flour is enough not too much and not too little and I can tell already it's still kind of sticky so grab some more flour and work it in Now I told you that I'm going to make one loaf um, raisin bread with sugar and cinnamon. And normally, like if you're making just one or two loaves, you could add the, the raisins in at this point and knead them along. But since I don't want four loaves of raisin bread, I'm going to put the raisins in at the last minute. And you'll see how I do that. We need the bread to work all the excess flour in. Okay. So far, so good. It's not sticking to the table. But I do feel a little bit sticky on my hands. But it should be a little bit sticky. You just don't want it excessively sticky and as you work the flour in you'll see that it becomes stickier so at some point I'm going to have to add some more flour here but I want to make sure I get all this other stuff worked in okay
Okay, I think this is just about kneaded enough. I don't want to knead it completely because what for this type of yeast, what you're supposed to do is you, after you're done kneading it, you um, let the dough rest for about five minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, since this is a four loaf batch, I'm going to split it now. And then I'll knead it just a little bit more when I shake the loaves. So I'll divide it in half. It's a little sticky in the middle, that's okay. And then I divide it in half again. So there's two lumps there. And two lumps there. So now they need to sit for about five minutes. So I'll let them do that. And then while I'm letting the dough rest, I'm going to clean up a little with my other, um, with my mixer and whatnot. <music>